Long time no see. Yeah, I know. I'm glad we did this sort of experiment and um, with the photos, exchanging photos. How was it for you to be out there? It was fun. You know, I've done a, a bit of photography in the past, but once you, you know, you walk down the street just with the purpose of taking photos, your eyes just start working differently. Yeah. You just see in a different way, and, and it is, uh, it's a valuable way to see because you're forcing yourself to just try to get beyond something obvious or, you know, to get beyond the routine of what you're used to seeing, what your mind expects to see, and rather than seeing with your mind, try to see with your eye. I love the first photo. I was, like, really taken by it. Yeah, I want to I talk about this picture because I really loved it. Um, yeah, it was sort of like a very generous frame to look at to you know to kind of go through because I at first I didn't notice the guy behind the plastic and but then finding him was such like a like a little treasure or a little like miracle I'm glad to hear that I I confess I was a bit shy and I yeah. went out and I was walking around and feeling confident and then I I thought about going in the store, but I just, I snapped this one and kind of kept moving on. But there, yeah, I, I sort of, afterward, I, I don't know how you feel about these things, but you know, I, I had this kind of photo FOMO. Uh -huh. <laughs> Should I have gone back and try to get something a bit more? It doesn't feel like just like, you know, a drive-by shooting, wham, bam. You know, it just feels kind of, it does feel very like meditated moment. Well, I thought your answer to the photo was great and uh, so so pleasing to the eye in a way to, to follow. Um, and I was yeah. hoping in a way that there would be enough to react to and, and somehow yeah. the way that you reacted was not what I expected. Where was this taken? Yeah, I was actually, we were um, in uh, Upper East Side at my partner's aunt's house yeah. and she's kind of this like really eccentric eccentric woman and yeah. uh and then i was just like literally i got your photo when i was like laying down with my son because he was taking a nap and i was just like it was kind of like because i was on my phone i had to kind of zoom in and take your picture in and because at first i noticed you know the big organ letters and i was like oh that's funny you know that it's like yeah. the you know the word organ or weird and then I started to kind of look around and then I noticed this plastic and the drapery and I was like looking and I saw the drapes, mm. you know, of, uh, of uh, this ant. And, uh, and I was like, oh, this is like, I was thinking about just like, yeah, the plastic uh, acting as drapes and then me being in front of the drapes. And it just sort of like was like, like the most perfect moment you sent the picture because I was literally like looking out of that window yeah, just thinking about also how you are looking into the store and I'm looking out the window. So I kind of like, also, I wanted to like have that play, like, you know. Well, yeah, was seeing this response that made me kind of excited about the the concept because it was automatically, it kind of, it clicked. But I was uh, moving around. I was on the, on the J train, um, which was fruitful because it kind of gives you advantage on a lot of different little worlds outside of the window and the we, the train was just stopped for a long time and then you know i just i grabbed this just the very obvious way of just you know seeing the air conditioners and mm -hmm. um, in a quite quite a different setting um but uh i was trying to i was hoping maybe to find something a little bit more colorful um of maybe people trying to keep themselves cool in a way to, to riff on air conditioning in a more horizontal way. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. I didn't really see it. Um, but then, you know, this kind of had the, the details of the kind of the moment that we're, we're going through, which mm -hmm. I, I think was interesting. I think just the fact, yeah, the fact that it's now you see, I, I pay so much more attention to people's windows and stoops or doors or fences or like, you know, I feel like everybody's, like is presenting all these signs and it's just sort of like if they're not screaming out loud they're like you know making signs and things are you know spelled out so I think it's it's sort of this will be like a, even though it it's like you 
you know, it might feel like a, a small moment or kind of not a very interesting moment, you know, just like a glance out of the subway train. But, but then it's like, that's what photography is so cool because it's like, oh, then there are things that you might have not noticed. You might have not noticed all these chords or, you know, like exactly what was on this sign or there's this other, you know, store sign that's showing up. And so um, I don't know how, not that we would have to explain every picture, but. Well, I should first apologize because I was excited to continue, but my day was a little bit crazy. Um, I was looking forward to responding. The rain kind of kept me in and then I got tied up with a little bit of work. But um, I'm curious to hear a little bit about where this comes from. I loved our sort of like window portal exploration and the air conditioner exploration. But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I wanna sort of like mess it up a little bit. And yeah. I guess I just was looking at the signs and then the word ice stood up and then I was like thinking like, oh, maybe I'll like photograph some ice or something. But then I was like, oh, that's so silly. That's kind of too literal and too obvious. And so, um, yeah, I was thinking like, yeah, just looking around my kitchen and I took a bunch of shots of the this scene. It doesn't really matter what it is, but, but it, it was just more about like uh, formally making a picture that might look like a landscape you know mm -hmm. like it might you might not be aware of what the scale of it is so i kind of like that with cropping and with you know the the vantage point or something you can like sort of confuse myself or confuse the viewer so um yeah i, I appreciated that you sort of injected a new line of thought and sort of reminded me of of the different ways that we, we can think about photography and uh that seems you know promising as a you know or a reminder to to the project as a whole of you know it can uh we can zig and zag and yeah i think i wanted that because i i always like i have and also at night time in my in my kitchen i have this really weird light that comes across from somebody else's yard or something it just looks very like david lynchian and so i'm always like have this like like before i go to bed like it just looks really uh ominous or weird and i was like oh i was i couldn't really capture that but i was like oh maybe i could make a picture that sort of it comes from the same mood or yeah something so yeah so I guess I started thinking about um, what, where this might take us and uh, whether what we're doing now is, um, is this helpful as a process or do we see this actually kind of as the, the, the product unfolding? Um, the format of it, I, I, I think is very interesting and you know, I started to think about ways in the end of how to compile it and, you know, we could do something interesting like in, uh, in like an animation program, like simulate like a text chain and have the, the images, you know, pop on mm. you know, as though in like an interface. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, I was thinking about that, just kind of what the, what the container for it ends up being in the end. Um, and then, you know, if we go down this root you know do we want to think about like being more like curating what the photos are a bit more or just letting the process play out a bit more naturally and just kind of having the end result be more or less a faithful sort of document of what we actually took with our photos i don't know did any of those questions start coming up for you like i i guess i still see this kind of as a um like a face where we're just gonna create some material that we can like derail from eventually or not maybe we'll it will just be something yeah like you said we'll edit down and then we'll think about how to present it and i like this idea that maybe it will be a slideshow or like an anime like you said animation or something yeah i don't know i feel like i still want to I would like us to have like another week of 
having this back and forth just yeah. to create some material. I think that's, yeah, totally cool to just keep this going, you know, for another week. I, I yeah. Mean, it's a great way to generate ideas and to find the things that we're drawn to. And, and you know, t time can kind of prove to us what we come back to. And, yeah, I feel like the final form, like that's something that will haunt me in my own work all the time too. It's like, what is it, what is it all add up to and what is it about? And um, like, I'm, I always, you know, I'm always like, well, my work is smarter than I am. So I have to figure it out after I make the work, you know, like it yeah. will tell me something. Yeah. So... Um, that's what I'm, I'm hoping always I'm banking on that thought, yeah. you know, that it's, that I can't be ahead of my work. Like I have to kind of follow it. As far as we can tell, I, I think somehow the, the final product is going to be in some kind of digital form. Mm -hmm. I think we could be open to having video and photo and whatever the container ends up being. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think we should keep it going for another week. Yeah and keep exploring. Um, yeah, because I feel like I don't want to talk ourselves out of it yet, and I don't want to like over-intellectualize it yet, like before we've given it a chance. Yeah, yeah. Because maybe, um, yeah, I think we could take some more, yeah, just exhaust it a little bit more. <laughs>